Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow for the next vlog. Um, I drove Peter to work this morning. I have a busier day at hand before I go and pick him up. Hey! <laughs> Eve just hopped on here so vigorously. This is your list of vaccines that we need to bring to the groomer today because you're getting a haircut. If you want Alrighty, so I have a busy afternoon ahead. Um, I'm taking Eve to get groomed, also driving Megan and Katie to the airport. Then I have to go back and get Eve and pick Peter up from work. Plus dinner is involved in there somewhere. I think we might just cook when we get home. Um, so that's our plan for the day. I'm getting the vlog uploaded now. One of the more common questions I get is what program do you edit on? And um, the intro time lapse with the text I create in Adobe Premiere. I would solely um, edit in Premiere, but it takes a really long time to export. So I just kind of stick to the basics. I do that text in Adobe Premiere because it's simple. You can do text really easy and you can make it formatted however you'd like. But then I do the rest of the editing in iMovie. Um, which is a little bit more elementary of a editing program, but it just does everything really fast. And for me, I need something that I can like keep moving throughout the day so I can move on to my other work and um, basically be as efficient as possible. So I'm hoping to move eventually just to Adobe Premiere. I can do more specific editing and color grading and a whole other slew of things in Premiere but for right now I have a system where I just do the intro there export it and then bring it into iMovie with the rest of the footage what does this mean you gonna go outside you gonna go outside guess what you gonna go in the car you gonna go get a haircut okay let's go okay here's Evie's little before well she's all dropped off I really don't like just handing her over it's always sad to me to say goodbye even if it's just a couple of hours they said two to three hours um, we're not going super super short we're doing a three um, just to still give her a little texture um, but yeah I'm super excited this is a new groomer this groomer um, allows your dog to like walk around in the back and in a play area while the other dogs get groomed so instead of them being in a crate while they wait, um, we had an issue the last place that we went where we had called after almost three hours and they said they hadn't even started her yet and so she had just been in the crate, which like, I get like, that has to happen sometimes. Um, but Eve's just not one to like a crate unless she decides to go in her crate, which she does, but, um, I just already think that the haircut is enough like emotionally for her because it's a haircut um, that to like also put her in a crate for multiple hours just wasn't something that we really liked so this is actually where Katie takes Padme and Aurora and she really likes it so um, I'm happy that we're trying somewhere new and we'll definitely get her some treats when we pick her up Bye girl! Look who is with me. I got nervous since Sarah pulled the camera out and I messed up my... Parallel park. And I'm like, I take such pride in my immaculate ability to parallel park because of living in downtown Chicago. It was perfect timing right when, basically like just like a couple minutes into our drive here, they called and said that he was ready and I'm really nervous to see how she looks. Hi! Look how good you look. You got a little bow? She was so thirsty the whole ride home. She was looking at her lips and her <laughs> mouth even sounded dry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow! There's our perfect little puppy with her fresh juice. It's 
boring. We're quite possibly Florida's two worst Floridians <laughs> because we have no, well, someone's my eye, we have no umbrellas and no rain ponchos. We own them, they're just at home. <laughs> when we left, I thought we knew it it's was gonna start like, pouring. Yeah. And now we're here. We're meeting up with some friends. Yes, we're meeting up with some friends. We're back. <laughs> we were literally here like how many hours ago? 12 hours ago. Coffee cake, eclair, bounds. Wow. I got it all. Because it's what to get. Exactly. Could've. Actually, she gave us two of those. I didn't even ask her for really? two of those. Yeah. Wow. Magical moment. <laughs> hey, come on. Yeah. We're with our friends. Hi, guys. Yeah. Sweet treat. And we've treat. been trying to meet them for years. Years and years, years and years. We love them. We're so happy. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah. You even found us when we moved, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not before? No. Not before, yeah. yeah. So two Not years. Two years. Awesome. I saw your first vlog when you guys were like in the car when we were from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> We're from New York, so we always have our little Chicago, New York. So I was like, you know, what the heck? Yeah. Let's eat. Manza. My name is Sarah. Yeah, yeah, I rock the boat. Yeah, yeah, I'm at... Eat like Bulgaria, yeah, yeah. Because I want... French fries! Yeah, yeah. So Maria and her family left. Yes. They were going to the Contemporary to do their laundry and get ready because they leave tomorrow. Yeah. We love them. Maria's been down, I think, two or three times since we moved here. I think two. And we've like, one of the times we were out of town, the other time we were just busy. Yeah, well we were here, but we were busy, yeah. And so. Sarah oftentimes equates Maria, so when you're watching this, to the person she talks to the most. She keeps me company during the day and messages, comments. So it was when really I'm great like to alone, finally When I'm like alone, I am alone, you know, I have my EV. But like to but actually- not good at talking English back. Right. She tries sometimes. So I absolutely love them. And I'm so happy we finally got them. And nothing like a good Italian family to meet yeah. too, from a big city like New York. Yeah. But we're gonna get some french fries because that'll hold us over. Check it out, this big dipping station here. Sarah's dream. So here are all the sauces. Three mustard and honey, curry ketchup, which is what we got, chipotle mayo, and garlic ranch, buffalo ranch, and horseradish. Is horseradish vegan? It looks cream based, so I got scared and I ditched it. But I just don't know. But, so I played it safe and got curry ketchup. They gave us. Excuse me. They gave us our own thing because they know Sarah's gonna use the whole thing. No, they give everybody their own. Why'd you get two? They're huge. It was an accident. What a simple evening. Just quick trip to Disney Springs to see some of our favorite peeps that we've never met. Have a little French fry treat. I'm so full. I'm not gonna eat another French fry for a long time. That's a lie. <laughs> if I showed her a French fry in about an hour, one she'd eat it. And two, if I showed her a platter of fries tomorrow, she'd eat it all. French fries are one of those things where like, even if you're full, you can still eat them. But I have been trying to steer away from potatoes, but I ate a lot of potatoes this weekend, but. It's okay. Just. Living your life. Yes. We're gonna go home and I think we're actually gonna see if our dog is still mad at us. <laughs> Cause she was mad at us she for bringing She ended up giving me kisses finally. But they were like reluctant kisses. But we're gonna see if she's still mad and we're gonna hopefully watch about time and just snuggle and have a calm evening because we don't we're not separate from each other very often. Yeah. So and I leave And we have to go to bed early Wednesday because he leaves super early. I leave out of Sanford and my flight departs at six AM. So that means we have to leave we have to be there at least by five, if not a little earlier. And which means we live an hour away from Sanford and besides getting ready time. We need to get up at like 2 in the morning. I may have to go to bed right after work on Wednesday and just sleep until like midnight. Right. So... We're gonna guys, chill together. Yeah. Spend some so qualities. As much time as possible Sarah together. and Peter time. Sarah and Pete. Sarah and Pete. Sarah and Pete plus Eve. John and Kate plus eight. Brookhart edition <laughs> equals recurrently Sarah and Pete plus Eve. Look at these two cuties watching Tiny House Netflix. So. Trying to convince Sarah that after this next year in the apartment that we're going to go in a tiny home. You don't have to convince me. You need to find a good one. They think our puppy's small. We got finally talked to the landlord at that apartment in Winter Park. Excuse Eve. <laughs> trying to get comfy. So yeah, we are going to take that apartment. We got it. Did we ever explain on the vlog what happened? No. We found out late last week that we got the apartment, but that our our two B landlord was mistaken, and the person who's in the unit now has a lease till September one. But he told knew him about that, but they were gonna leave early. 
and then decided not to leave Because it's a lot of doctors and nurses, and this person was going to go to a new hospital in North Carolina. But then things changed with that hospital, and they're going to have that doctor come out in September rather than August. So he thought they, the unit was going to be available August 1st, so he'd have time to vamp it up before September 1. But he didn't. So then he was like, I know you already put a deposit down. I can't let you in until the 15th. It's yours if you want it, but I understand if you don't because you have to figure something out. And if you don't right. recall, we had to have a kind of a tussle with our current apartment about staying even until September 1. Right. And so we didn't want to extend this apartment anymore. We knew we wanted to move. Um, so basically we had to choose to stay with that apartment, figure out a living situation for those two weeks, and then move in mid-September, mm -hmm. or not go with this apartment and basically start all over again. Yes. And so, because of us being able to work all of those details out and how much we really, really like the apartment, we have figured out a way to make it work. And we're going to avoid searching for apartments mm -hmm. again, especially as life starts to get crazy. With IVF with again, IVF hopefully soon. And Peter going to Kentucky. So September 13th will be our move-in date for our new apartment. Yes. And so, from September 1st to then, we are going to live with Katie, and Eve is going to have her puppy pails back in her life. Um, it's just the best place for us three to, mm -hmm. to stay for that time. And our stuff, we're still figuring out like yeah. a definite solution. Um, we may store it at, at some friend's house, we may store it at U-Haul, but we gotta store majority of our possessions for those two weeks. Right. But, I mean, we've been downsizing, you guys know. Even if we just have, like, our some of our bins in the room we're going to be mm -hmm. in, it'll, it'll all I work I even out. just went through all of our, like, tech stuff, and I got all of our podcast, vlog, and computer stuff down to three little bags. Wow. So, yeah, that's where we're at with the apartment. We're we got really all, excited. We got the Winter Park home, so get ready for starting mid-next month. A lot of vlogs kinda. coming from us. Yeah. We're going to make this next apartment more homey than we've ever made. We're going to be making it more neighborhoodly. We're going to try to get involved in the communities around there. There's a running club mm -hmm. I want to join. Yeah. We're going to find all kinds of fun right, neighborhoodly it's be stuff. Like our vlog is just like enhanced. Yeah. Like more. Um, oh, so. She's got to get comfy. <laughs> she's really getting tussled up. She just unwrapped this. You're exposing our Port Orleans Riverside. She fabric. wants it to look like Port Orleans. Packing update, quick ones tonight. Fill those two long bins with all of our DVDs. Do you think that we could put those couple of books in that? Or in the liquor? Maybe we'll put the books with the other books and downsize the books a little bit. Yeah. Alrighty, the daily message. Ooh, a long one. Oh my gosh. That's one of my favorite people in all the world. She plays Bellatrix, she plays so many different characters in so many movies, but I just love her so much. I think everything in life is art. What you do, how you dress, the way you love someone, and how you talk, your smile and your personality, what you believe in and all of your dreams, the way you drink your tea, how you decorate your home or party, your grocery list, the food you make, how your writing looks, and the way you feel. Life is art. I love that, and I love her. Well... It's that time of the evening, but don't I'm you fret. Sleepy. Yeah, this girl zonked. We are. <laughs> That's two nights in a row. I did. We are going to Epcot tomorrow. So when you're watching this, we'll probably be at Epcot, unless you're watching it as soon as it posts. Which. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Are we seeing that? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe get some Beverly. Depends on time. Mm -hmm. Either way. Yeah. We're so glad you joined us today. Yes, thank you so much. It's, it's good to be fun. home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>